It's the Veteran Awards, the English ones for 2022 at Portsmouth. With me is David Richmond, who's joined us this evening. You've come along. What are you looking forward to tonight? I'm just looking forward to hearing the stories of the nominees and the award winners and um, you know, mixing with the veteran community who, who um, you know, so many of whom do so, so really well once they leave service. So I'm looking forward to all of that. And what would you say about the evening itself in general? How important is it to have awards to recognise the veterans? I think it's really important. You know, I think we, we hear so much in the in the media about when things aren't going well for veterans. And, and frankly, that's the minority of people. What we don't hear are so many of the good stories. And it's so important to celebrate the successes and the good stories for those guys and girls who leave the services and go on to do great things. So I think award ceremonies like this are really important for that reason. And also to recognise people's achievements and, and you're not, not overlooking the fact that people have achieved some really good things. I would say also it will inspire those that sort of come towards their end of time yeah. in the forces, just about to go that resentment phase, thinking, what am I going to do next? They've got transferable skills. I think that will inspire oh, yeah, them. You can see it. It's, it's that, what's that? The phrase that's going around, you know, if you can't see it, you can't be it, all that kind of stuff. But you can see it. You can, you can recognise and, and relate to the guys and girls who are here. Um, and to all those very many who aren't here actually tonight, who are also doing really well. So I think there's that relatable piece and that, that aspiration it offers to people is, is, is also important for the community. All right, fantastic. Dave, thanks for joining us and enjoy the evening. I will. Thank you very much.